AJ is stock was okay. Happy birthday, by the way, Dan. Nope. Thank you, sir. You don't look a day over 19. A driver's license photo could say less. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Everyone, shut up. <laughs> I hate you all. Yeah. <laughs> Night, Pete. I don't. Night, Pete. I, I don't hate you. I don't hate you, Pete. Uh, thanks. Oh shit, that was funny though. Pete, way to be cool and play God of War. Oh yeah. Pete's gone. <laughs> no more Pete. Way to be, Pete. Way to be. Ken, you're on late. Were you working? Uh, no, I asked if anybody was battling, and then Phil went off the deep end, so I just ignored the chat for a while until I assumed the craziness would end. I tried to, I, I tried to bring Phil back, but it was too late. Not a, not a sound plan. Yeah, why would you wait for me not to be crazy? I don't know, uh, I expected somebody to tell me if we were playing and nobody did. I just saw messages relating to your mental breakdown. Mental breakdown. Do you have um do you have the app? Phil, you know that can prefer people over our machine, right? Yeah, I fear yeah, Skynet. He's gonna have a hard time He's gonna have a hard time during the robot uprising of twenty twenty one. The vaccine just over, over in the next year turns this to this all metallic and we just become robots. Dr. Yeah, Fau Dr. Fauci is actually a T-1000. <laughs> God, I would actually believe God, that. I would actually believe that. <laughs> Goddamn Fauci. Yeah, guys, come with me if you want to live. Oh, shit. Damn it, it's so dark here and see here's, shit. Here's the thing, Dan. You hate these close games. Whenever Oregon's playing a close game, I, like, I just have this good feeling. They're holding this like, back room over here for some reason. The team plays under pressure extremely well. They always have. Like, since Almond take over, it's kind of a thing. Guy on the other yeah, side of the wall um, here. I think any game that's closed, like, I always feel like if it's closed, I feel like it's one over here. It's almost like a coin flip, and I don't like that. I like a cushion. Yeah. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's nice to blow people out every once in a while. So. Uh, roly poly over here. Shit. Roly poly coming for you. Oh, he's doing. Right. He's yeah, he's doing that thing that I like to. He's being an asshole. Throw some shot grenade, bitch. Ah, oh, damn it. One rocket at this one in the ooh. Teamwork. Nice. Stairs. nice. I can't, why can't I hit that guy? Have we got, have we got natural cover. Nice. Everyone uh, look at me real quick. Can't find you. Can't find you. He's coming up oh, this yeah, way. Yeah. <laughs> I was hiding behind a chair. The chair that I turned over. <laughs> Oh, 
One down the stairs. Bam! Oh, <laughs> shit. He can see me, I can see him. I just drop a detonite and ran around. <laughs> Wow, this guy spawned right behind the guy I was shooting. It was a super battle droid. He shields up, tur casually turned around, and shot and killed me with Damn. everything. The clone commander just meleeed the shit out of a, out of a roly poly. Does anybody else know the guy finger crew? Yeah, <laughs> he, he was on our team last turn. <laughs> he wasn't that good. They're opposite their spawn. I say we just run together, roaming death squad. You say Roman death squad? Because I don't have my toga. I don't, do they have toga? Romans? Toga! 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 Oh. There's a guy on the next to the statue. We went to a fucking tear. I didn't even look at the score for. Shit. <laughs> we, just get, we just get into a groove sometimes. <laughs> By the way, we've got eight. We've got eight kills on their side. Make that eleven kills on their side without a death. <laughs> oh, that sounds that about right. Yeah. Sounds about right. Holy uh, shit! Let's get two more. Let's get two more. We finished yeah. the game on an 18 and 0. It was 52 to 18, and we didn't die again. Mm. <laughs> Holy shit! That's beautiful, man. We, went on a tear. we just pulverized oh my them. God. Uh, that is a new record too. Hey yo! Because yeah. yeah. we just 52. Oh my god! And because we... it's Dan's birthday, I will stay around for this next garbage island in place. <laughs> garbage island. Sorry, this is garbage desert town in the middle of fucking nowhere. That's a hell hole for anybody that doesn't like to fly in the air like a dickhead. Like a dickhead. We can, we, we can, we can, we can, we can feel Taurus in uh, love with this map here. Seventy-five, sixty-eight, Dan. Good guys. So Dan, what all did you do for your birthday? Two uh, tricks at the same time. Yeah, right. <laughs> Work, and then, uh... It's a big note for on that one. <laughs> That's my Dan voice, by the way. <laughs> Two tricks at the same time. Uh, the, uh, the highlight of the evening <laughs> was dinner at Gordon Ramsay Steakhouse. And it was phenomenal. That's awesome, man. That's awesome, man.
Where'd everybody go? Be scammer ways, you know. They don't want to. They didn't want to do that again. They didn't want this smoke no more. Everybody pick their lowest class. Roger, Roger. Brennan, don't jinx us now. I would love to know where Cash is at. We haven't seen him in a while. He probably time. fucking he played Call of Duty. Duty. He probably plays Warzone now. He's probably playing a lot of Warzone. He, COVID-19 got him. <laughs> Maybe? I'd be Maybe. fine with that. Turns out he's British. Huh. Jesus. I like how this is like Brandon's thing. Find out more about Kector. Holy shit. The bench is going crazy. That is just out of control. I should have travel. Yeah, slow it up. Kill clock. We've made 10 of our last 12 field goals, Dan. If, if things go bad, I'm gonna, I'm gonna yell at you. Oh, I also want Dan Allison. Ordered this. It's just got that. It's got the uh, the O logo, and then a line, and then it just says basketball. All black and slick. It's just... I think we should back out. Tell me this is not the the best name for this guy. Elliot Smurling. But Smurling... Yeah. Alright, everyone back out. Good call, Phil. But Smurling resorted to fraud. Tell me that is not exactly what you expected with that name. Sounds like a, one of the Three Stooges characters. Branded day drinkers discover that beer, air mattresses, and air mattresses in the Indian Ocean don't mix. Huh. huh. I wonder how I figured that out. Um, the Disney's closing that pretty Disney George. Mm. Color me not surprised. Did they, they never spend Menu. Menu. Target thing. Menu. Menu. Menu as well. That's still there, but it's still doing it. Yeah, many. Many. Hmm. It won't play for me. Maybe I'll play. Um... It will. Torsten will tell you to score. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Jack yeah. Perry. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, go ahead, Brennan. Mine is not important. Mine's Oregon, mine's Oregon basketball related, so please go Okay. <laughs> to continue on with the story, Jackson Perry and Noma Par Nola Par Palmer had taken the air mattress and a cooler full of beer into the water in front of Palmer's Oceanside House located just south of Perth on the Australia's west coast. They intended to spend the day relaxing no more than 50 yards from shore, but the wind had other plans. <laughs> they only aimed to be 100 meters offshore max but before they knew it they were out to sea <laughs> idiots with batteries on their phones dwindling palmer and perry called their friend tex who they knew was about 30 miles away from their location as the wind carried them two and a half miles out into the indian ocean the pair noticed that they were gradually sinking due to the fact that the mattress was full of pinholes the fuck what? to stay afloat Palmer jumped off the mattress every few minutes and reinflated it manually while the duo waited for help to arrive. <laughs> oh, God. 
After three hours of drifting, Tex arrived on a jet ski to rescue his friends. Ha! <laughs> on a jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> Tex <laughs> arrived on the jet ski to rescue his friends, was quickly followed by a team of volunteer rescuers to help bring Perry and Palmer to shore. When asked if they had any advice to other people who enjoy drinking on floating mattress, air mattresses, Perry said, definitely check the wind for it. <laughs> Sound advice. Sound advice. Uh. But expressed no regrets about the death-defying adventure into the briny blue expanse. Other than that, we had a pretty good time. <laughs> so, I found a thing on Facebook today. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this, but it's... Super marriage tips. Uh oh. Tips. It's fucking pretty awesome. I'll play a couple of times. Lore Vader 66 is a level 66. It's what I think it is, Dan. Super fun. Alright. Time to head for our spot. And see how many we kill and how many die death we get. Uh, not yet. Not yet. Wait. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh! oh. <laughs> Fuck. Wow. Hey Dan, can you send this to me so I can uh, show Pauline? That's really genius. Oh, 
Oh, fuck. <laughs> she will make you a sandwich. Almost dead. Got the mid. Ken is F A for I C. I'm what? I'm what? But what was it? Go to a restaurant. Go to the worst restaurant. She. She doesn't. If you can't decide on where to go. If she won't tell you where she would to go to dinner, take her to the her least favorite restaurant and order her least favorite item. She'll give you a choice next time. Take her, just take her to a strip club. Rachel's, Rachel's Steakhouse. Rachel's buffet. Steakhouse. Yeah, just take her to a strip club with a buffet and she'll always choose something else. Or, uh... The last one is... I don't know, I kind of feel like Sarah would like that. Yeah, like, she, won't to, she won't be able to eat anything. Too distracting. It's like a, ch like a child at a character meal. Last one is like if your wife calls you on her way home to draw her hot water and soap, i.e. like for a bath, tell her she's all set or whatever, and then he has a he filled the sink up with hot water and fucking dish soap so she could do the dishes. Oh, that was gonna be like a mop. That's, this <laughs> is extremely douchebaggy, and I love every bit of it. They took my nephew to a uh, garden grill and he didn't eat anything because he was just watching the restaurant turn around. <laughs> that's, but, but, Phil, you know that's how they make, they make money. Yeah. You eat less, get distracted. I guy went the wrong way. Yep. So did he. Ooh, they got me. They got me, partner. Marty, I don't know how they found me, but they did. Let me in! Let me in! Marty! Oh, Are we going to find some backstory about why this physicist and this teenage kid are friends? Nope, we're never going to mention it again. Oh? Oh? Run for it, Marty! Oh, nice, Brandon! <laughs> Both of you are shooting rockets, and he just got blown to bits. What's the uh, record on this? What's the record on this one, Torsten? 76 0. Uh, what was that? 76. That is a new record, and we smashed it. Cool. Previously was 50. Nice. nice. Listen. I was hungry, okay? I was a little <laughs> hungry at the moment. Are, are your backs okay, guys? Are your backs okay, guys? Yeah, just a little bit. Always. I only have three deaths on that one. Nice. Mm -hmm. And uh, 21 of those were actual kills. No, wow. Wow. So, I have two deaths. Same here. I got three. Oh shit, his wife has one too. <laughs> um, okay, I just got the thing from Dan. I'm going to play it for Pauline. You go to you go to their channel and the wife has some too. How can how can how can you get into this and Super unplug his uh, Wi-Fi router? If the wife asks you if the outfit she's wearing makes her look fat, just tell her if she ran at the gym like she ran her mouth at home, she wouldn't have to ask that question. <laughs> If your wife is acting kind of tired, to help her out, you can make her a to-do list. And when you give it to her, she will be thankful that you did all the thinking work for her. Super marriage tip. If your wife is ever angry at you, just use the phrase, you are acting just like your mother. This phrase will cause your wife to reevaluate her bad attitude, and she will go and make you a sandwich. When you have to run some errands and your wife doesn't want to go with you, just grab yourself some Dunkin' Donuts and don't get her any. Uh, when she asks why you didn't grab her anything, just say, if you truly loved me, you would have gone with me and I would have bought you something. Whenever you do something good for your wife, make sure to let her know. 
hey, honey, I put all the laundry by the laundry machine. That way you could wash the clothes after you get done with dinner. <laughs> Every once in a while, call your wife by one of your ex-girlfriend's names. This will help her realize that she is not the only woman on the docket and that you're a really good catch. <laughs> when your wife is laying down on the couch, ask her if she plans on doing anything today. This will subconsciously remind her that she has chores to do that need done. And she needs to get up and start doing her chores. <laughs> What's the point of putting up a bubble if you're not going to stay under it? The first thing you ask your wife when she comes to the door from work is what is she going to make for dinner? She will appreciate it because you are putting your family's needs first above your own. Ow. Super marriage tip. Your wife values honesty. So if your wife asks you if her best friend is prettier than her, just say yes. Your wife will value and appreciate your opinion, and she will love you more for it. Yeah. Pro marriage tip. When your wife spills something and makes a mess, don't offer to clean it up. She will realize that there are consequences to her actions, and she, and she will grow as a person because of it. Whenever your wife can't decide where she wants you to take her out to eat, take her to her least favorite restaurant. Ignore all of her protests. And then order her her least favorite food item. From there on out, she will at least always give you an option. <laughs> if your wife is slumming it around the house, uh, just use you your male-dominated voice to tell her to get up and get to work. She will respect you and get up and do her job. <laughs> Pro marriage tip. Remember to always leave a healthy amount of cups and trash laying around your house that way your wife always has something to clean up a busy wife is a happy wife when your wife gets up in the morning to get ready for work make sure to tell her everything she needs to do when she gets home like cook dinner mop the floors sweep the kitchen all that kind of thing that way she gets a good start prep to her day take every opportunity to always remind your wife that she married up she will agree with you and she will be grateful that you actually took the time to marry someone as low as her. <laughs> Pro marriage tip. When you're going somewhere with your wife, just ask her if she plans on putting on any makeup. This will help her understand that you really care for how she looks, and she will appreciate and love you more for it. <laughs> it's always a good idea to remind your wife that you are her first priority above everything else if she's doing something she needs to come home and make you dinner then she can go back out and do whatever she wants don't be afraid to help your wife out for example my wife just called me on her way home from work and asked me if i could run her some hot water and not to forget the bubbles well honey i got you here you go i hope she's happy with me i love her to bits <laughs> Brother Walker. That was the last first uh, record that we busted for them. You did it quite uh, a lot, didn't you? About 23. Oh, shit, sure. yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Ewok? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ewok's supposed to be here. Thank you, Phil. Oh, that's a big Ewok. Shit. Now I know people are upset. But we get this guy. Not sure. He's going to fix all the problems. I was shooting the guy in front and I turned around and he was already there.
while we were playing this game, but you could get into the walker, but you couldn't walk anywhere, but you could shoot the guns on it. And you can get on top and fight people from the That'd be a very cool mechanic. Very cool mechanic. Mm -hmm. It was Battlefront 1. Yeah, goddamn, Brandon. That's not what he means. <laughs> oh shit! How the hell he did that? <laughs> Going out on a high. Same. Yep. All right. Well, have a good night, everybody. Good night, y'all. Happy twenty-first birthday happy again, Dan. Birthday, Dan. Happy birthday, Dan. Uh, say, say happy birthday to Dan. Happy birthday, Dan. Happy birthday, Dan. Thank you. Gentlemen, good night. Sleep tight. Stay warm, y'all.